Hey guys, it's Tick and Tag. Ooh, welcome back to <laughs> Jank Play. Yes, Brynn the Prisoner of Azkaban. Twas an un unexpected bullet. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going under the dungeons. When we get railed by trolls. Hell yeah, boy. That's weird. <laughs> Can you do it? Yeah. Are you making? I like the map. It's so small. I know it's super tiny, but also <laughs> it, it's fine. It's totally a okay. <laughs> I hate that I got that on the first try. <laughs> Forget it. I'm just too good. Just too good, man. I know this universe too well, apparently. <laughs> the Wigan Weld Potion will heal most common injuries. The more attentive of you will remember that the most powerful form of the potion told you we is had prepared potions. with only the freshly stripped bark of the Wigan tree. Mr. Weasley! <laughs> Why the hell would he do that? While you are oh. in my class, you will... Hurry! <laughs> Weasley, bring him to the front. Now. <laughs> To bring Harry. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is a fine direction. <laughs> Nobody wanted to help. Hermione, no, of course not. Pick up Hermione, his get his nostrils. <laughs> I am. Bring him here. Freaking! Did you know Harry comes from a very long line of extremely like freaking successful potion makers? Oh really? To administer the Wigan Weld potion to yourself. Stand away from Um What are you doing? Coming. Don't do it, no, please. <laughs> Coop him over your spells. You can't use spells when you're using potions. I'm not gonna dump it on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Harry. <laughs> Break it over the head. His head. <laughs> what happened? I will let Mr. Weasley give you a full explanation. Although his incompetence speaks for itself. Thanks to Mr. Weasley's little sideshow, we no longer have time for the rest. Right, you have a short class. So <laughs> right. <laughs> that was like a minute or two. Gathering the ingredients for the antidote to uncommon poisons in your own time. Ready for my next lesson. For the next class, therefore, you are to bring fire seeds, billywig stings, chis purple carapaces, and the horn of a grab horn. Class dismissed. Mm. Impossible. Can't do those things. Too difficult. Too horny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks oh yeah, you have to dart around the suits again. Maybe. Really sorry. Don't worry. Let's go outside. Also, it might well, have been I'm likely exhausted. that freaking yeah, me too. Snape became such a good yes. like potion maker because he stole all of freaking James's in think, like know-how. <laughs> because James comes from a huge line of potion makers who are like super successful. Wow. This is the, not the right button. Stop pushing that button, bro. We're I can't pausing. help it. This one. No, go back one. Fucking hell. No. Shut up. Bleh. Don't judge me. Bleh. Idiot. You like my solar system thing? It's yeah. working. I bet the mic can hear it. <laughs> no, I don't think it can. Ravenclaw. <laughs> wow. So many points. I think we're winning by like one point. <laughs> we can actually see the man now.
I'm pretty sure house points are no longer a thing after the fourth year. <laughs> Why? Oh, because they don't care anymore? Like, it mattered in the books. Not in year four. But, he had but like, of other things to think about as well. no, the other ones. You've got like, to help Neville. Yeah, it's never mentioned again. Neville was wandering <laughs> around on the fifth floor, and Malfoy's lot found him and locked him in the Muggle Studies classroom. And they've released a ghoul. Where's Hermione? In the girls' dormitory. She's finding it easy to study up there. Well, I suppose it's you and me then, Ron. Wow. Let's go fist fight a dude. Fist fighting? I mean fist a dude. Yeah, fist him. <laughs> Use your wand. That's not fisting. It could be. That's probing. You can, if you're holding the wand while you fist him. Oh my god. <laughs> Just run splinters up his butthole. <laughs> Freaking muggle studies. I don't know where that is. We'll go find it. Sixth floor. I can feel it. I'm making a bet. Sixth floor. Uh, do it. Which floor do you think? There's only seven. And we just left the seventh floor. Dude, I don't freaking know. I had no idea. Take a guess, dude. One of them? That's ancient rooms. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I found it! It's the fifth floor. I, I fifth guess... Fifth floor was my other guess. No, I just but... guessed fifth floor. So okay. I guess I win. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I guessed it. Sure. Hey, you don't remember me saying fifth floor? <laughs> You're the worst. I haven't done anything. Did you see his oh no! Weasley. It's a gay boy. Oh no, not again. Why is it like he's always like the main protagonist in every game? Because he is. Oh, he's not the main protagonist. But more like no, he's, he's like the main protagonist. No, he's just like the antagonist. He's just the consistent. Yeah, until antagonist. like Voldemort's like actually introduced, he's the main antagonist. He just always is just... What am I looking at my hands for? Fucking Ron's dying. Ron's getting his ass railed over there. And you're like, mm, my hands have veins. <laughs> hand is hand. Ooh. I should beat the asses. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, frog. We did it. Yeah, but we've still got to save Neville from the ghoul. <laughs> Do none of the teachers ever do anything around here? Besides freaking teach? No. Actually, um... Freaking McGonagall is a really reliable teacher. But it's like, why do they all suck so bad? They're also like... They don't do anything. Right. They don't help out to like solve these really big problems. True. <laughs> but why? But why this be this way? Right. I can't help it. Leave me alone. Don't fucking make fun of me. I'm working. <laughs> does Shay have Maya? She does, sure does. Yeah. Did she? Is she gone for the weekend? Yeah. How unfortunate. You don't get to see Maya. I know. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> no puppy for Brandon. Uh, However, will you live? I'm glad we can agree on that. <laughs> Do it. Oh, you? you hit it. That's the real question. Don't worry, I'm getting it. I don't know why there are electric guitars here, but you know what I mean. Oh, have I explained where the the school got freaking the Hogwarts Express? Have they I told you about it. that? They stole it from us. Yes. Uh, they, they had this huge fucking heist and they fucking yoinked it. Because <laughs> we're all like. Which is why it's an old steam engine. Yeah, still. Yeah, it's freaking ridiculous. They're all like, Muggles are stupid and retarded. Oh, we need their train. <laughs> I, bet, I bet the situation... Look, there's all their, their shit that they stole. Right. This is just a fucking arcade cabinet. Yeah, and then a computer. Oh, hey. Why do they... Do they still think that Muggles are just inferior beings? Yeah. A lot of people do. But, like, clearly... Regular they're people. not! Yeah, clearly they're doing some pretty cool shit. Let me try that. Have they gone to the moon yet? Yeah, they've been to the moon. See? <laughs> and they're like, Muggles are stupid. Yeah, basically. Even though we're literally traversing space, and they're still 
freaking just yoinking our stuff because they can't do anything else. I think they're just. Ah! Uh, oh my god! I think the wizards are the ones that are sad. They remind me of the the thought that if you're given too much early on, or just given too much in general, you become, become weak. a raging asshole. You become weak. Like they yeah. can't. Like they don't know how to create the stuff that like muggles can because they had magic. Right. Freaking, like I've said before, Voldemort was the most pathetic freaking uh, magic-dependent wizard ever. Why? Because he died at 70. Fucking, do you know when Dumbledore died? Hmm. Like, almost when he was 200? Damn. Yeah. The most pathetic magic-dependent wizard in existence. <laughs> Freaking! I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. By the way. I don't Figure know if that was clear or not. No, I noticed you just weren't doing anything. I know. I'm just running around. I don't know what to do. Is there anything in that big box, Ron? <laughs> the real question is, can can what we... big box? This big box? Cause this box don't fucking open. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. You have to stand right in front of it in just the right spot. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh my god, he was just sent to space. <laughs> yeah, realistically speaking, if the muggles and the wizards went to war with each other, the muggles would win. I was wondering. Because they have though. guns. That's what I was wondering. I was just about to ask. I was like, can wizards do anything about bullets flying at them? Right. Uh, I'm gonna assume no. <laughs> that, because because like, they know. have Protego, but also. Like, the reason it works so well against spells is because of the fact that they can see the spell. Well, yeah, like, exactly. Coming towards them. That's why, because they don't really have, like, a spell that just creates, like, an impenetrable barrier. Well, them. that's Protego. And oh, so okay. it, it is, like, a physical wall, and it could keep physical objects out. But, like, that's the only thing they know it's coming. They're going to hear the gunshot, and then they're going to have a hole in their leg. Yeah. Like, But, like, like, so what if they, like, did a classic <laughs> war where it's, like... You know, you had, like, an army on this side and an army at this side, and they just bombed. Okay, so if they're, like, volley firing at each other, a one wizard could very easily take out a battalion. But, because it wouldn't be like that, and right. we would have snipers or something like that, we would win. Probably, yeah. But we would never be able to get into their, like, Hogwarts and their Yeah, one towns. of the biggest issues with it would be the fact that we can't tell who is and who is not a wizard. Yeah. Like, that's it. It would literally just be a witch hunt. But in the witch hunt... Like, it, because those happen in mm -hmm. this universe, right? Uh, freaking wizards can just make themselves in like invulnerable to fire, right? <laughs> and it actually just tickles them instead of <laughs> burning them. Well, isn't that convenient? Right. That's a fucking ghost. <laughs> uh, you know, I think I think the Muggles would figure it out eventually. They figure out how to get onto oh, the train. Yeah. And then they would sneak their way in. And then there might even be wizards that would betray the wizards and actually show them how to get there. Oh, yeah. And, like Probably. Actually, and maybe even smuggle, like, bombs or something onto their train or, right. so, or into Hogwarts or something stupid. Like a nuke. They just nuke them. <laughs> That'd be so fucking unfair. <laughs> just smuggle a nuke onto their train and just blow it up. Freaking, yeah, no. I, I think Muggles would legitimately win, like, an actual war with the Wizards. I also think there's a lot more Muggles. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, like, uh, honestly, quantity over quality only works for Americans. <laughs> so. <laughs> Dude, they would have, yeah. I don't know. I guess it'd be a thing we'll It'd be know. an interesting exercise, to say yeah. the least. It'd be interesting to see, but I don't think... I don't think we'll ever actually know for sure. Right. But I guess... But see, that that's another thing, though, actually, is I feel like... I feel like once Muggles learn a little bit more about their system, about, like, how they find people and, and you know, the owls and stuff, that Muggles would be able to figure out exactly who is being chosen or who would be being born wizards or whatever. Yeah. 
and they'd be able to find them and actually either neutralize them or capture them Freaking. as infants before they even can be raised. One thing, though, is if, like, a wizard knows they're a wizard or even, like, doesn't know and suppresses their, like, magical tendencies, mm -hmm. they can, like, be way more devastating than just a wizard going nuts. It's true. Because they become an obscurus. Yeah. But, so, but that's another thing. Is that, like, how do... How does anybody know? Like, when you, what age are you when you know that you get to be a wizard? Uh, you find out at eleven, but or earlier knows. because, like, whatever. But not everybody else knows because, like, freaking people don't like really know until uh, fairly late in life because, like, you don't get your letter until then. But you can still perform feats as like. An itty bitty baby. Okay. Like, um... So, since you're born, basically. Yeah, kind of since you're born, but, like, especially for Hogwarts. Hogwarts has, like, a really weird selection system. And basically, with it, you have to perform a certain, like, degree of magical... Or showcase a certain degree of magical ability before you're chosen. Mm. And then a magical book with sentience and a magical pen with sentience need to agree that you should attend Hogwarts. Otherwise, you just don't go anywhere. But you're still technically a wizard. Yeah, you're still technically a wizard, and there are other schools, and there's more than Hogwarts, but... Oh, there are other, there are other and, schools? Yeah, that's the whole thing about the Goblet of Fire, is it's the Triwizard Tournament, and it's literally about the three big schools in the UK getting together to have a century-old competition. Yeah. So there's schools just all over the world. Yeah, there's a few. But, like... Hogwarts is the big one. The biggest? Yeah, Hogwarts is literally considered the best wizard school in the world. Or one of the best. Mm. And obviously there's like, no, my school is better kind of stuff going on. Right. But, let's see. I get it. Now the real question you have to ask yourself is did they take, uh, when they were making this story, did they take uh, Hogwarts idea from uh, Harvard? You know, mm. like, like, like they, uh, like, is Harvard supposed to be considered one of the most prestigious oh, schools ever? And so what they did was they, okay. the idea is, did they take, like, the name and, like, just switch it around when they were going to make the story? And, like, give it, and base it off of that idea? No, I don't think so. Mm. What is that? Freaking, who knows, J.K. Rowling's kind of batty nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's true, and everybody knows it. So call me out in the comments if you want, I don't care. <laughs> nice. That was like, barely not good time. Yeah, with Protego, like, it does what Expelliarmus does in this game. Like, Protego reflects damage, basically, is what it is. Mm. You know what though? One of my favorite uh, animes from they had to have like the comparison between like magic and uh, modern technology. So first you had Gate, right? Yeah. Gate was straight up just massacre. Yeah, there was it was straight up. All right, we're we're directly competing against fantasy world and this. Yeah. And then but then you had like um, subtlety a little bit from uh, uh, Familiar Zero. I didn't watch that one. Okay. Well, either way, he was transported from the, you know, Japan or whatever. Mm -hmm. He was isekai Yeah, he was isekai <laughs> But, um... Uh, they had subtleties where he, uh... Where there was other people that got transported from there as well. Yeah. At times. And so, like, one guy got transported with a, a rocket launcher. Because <laughs> he was a, he was in the military, and he was probably trudging around somewhere and suddenly ended up there. <laughs> but anyways, so he had that, so that could fuck up shit pretty good. But, but like, he, they had a, uh, uh, what was their plane called? It was an old, it was an old, uh, Japanese war plane. Oh, like a bomber or something? No, not a bomber, but like one of the, like, single person ones. With like a biplane? A, sure. <laughs> I don't know, somewhere like that. <laughs> Either way, uh, they had one of those, yeah. and one of the wizards replicated gasoline for it, and he, and uh, the, the main character flew it around, and when they were having a war, and he was just taking out uh, dragons using it. Mm -hmm. But then at one point he got to go home, and he came back, 
uh, with a, uh, with a, somehow he got to into a military base and he stole a jet. He just took one. I know it's just annoying it. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Are you though? Yeah, sometimes. Hey, bitch puss. Uh, can I like force it to move around using Lumos? I can't. Okay, there you go. Yeah, back up, bitch pussy. Back it up. You're going the wrong way, fucking dipshit. Stop. Do, do as you're told. Stop turning on the light. I have to, like, push it all the way in there. <laughs> I have to be standing in the right spot, I bet. Yeah. No. Now leave my friends alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You did it. I hope it does something else kind of ridiculous where it skips forward through the story a bunch. Yeah, and then goes back in time as well. Yeah. I actually have a feeling that's exactly what's going to happen, though. Very possible. Freaking one, like, magic concept I really liked was in the regular at Magic High School. Okay. Where they had, like... Um, I just want to go to bed. Can we go now? Freaking. It basically, magic was. Technology? Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm having a hard time. I can tell. <laughs> and, like, bullets aren't super useful against. And they're called magicians. Alright. Because a lot of. Not a lot of them. A few of them. I can literally just, like, disintegrate them. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's pretty cool. Seems um, legit. You should you should watch it sometime. It's on Netflix. You should watch it. It's all right. I think I've watched it before. It's not the worst. I'm pretty sure I've gotten it from you before. Yeah. Maybe not like the second season if there is one. Right. It could definitely be better, but it's not bad, honestly. Right. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think of like other magic systems and stuff. Freaking! I like. I knew it was gonna do this. What? I fucking knew this was coming. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay, so it's not really skipping through it that quickly, but you know, <laughs> it did skip ahead a bit. Okay. Uh, basically, what happened was the uh, fat lady was basically attacked by Sirius Black. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> um. Have you watched Nights and Magic? Is what it's called. Oh, I don't know if I have. And basically, everybody has magic power, and you have to like cultivate it to use it properly. Okay. And to use it, you have to have a rod, right? It's something to like focus on. Basically, it's it's a focus, it's a catalyst, whatever you want to call it. But basically, um, Cadigan. I, I don't like him as a character, <laughs> but he, a guy gets isekai'd after being hit by a truck, obviously. That's okay. an older anime. And he's, like, super uh, obsessed with, like, mechs and stuff, right? All right. And so, basically, when he gets isekai'd, they have these giant magical robots to fight big monsters, <laughs> Or fight in war or whatever. And so he spends his entire life just training to pilot these massive robots. Okay. And, and so it's another case of, like, the magic is technology. Mm. But also, it's really good. And he ends up being, like, way stronger than everybody else because this is all he focuses on. And he builds, like, a special custom robot. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty good, man. Freaking, uh, we went to watch it. I went to watch it with Connor one night. Uh -huh. And he didn't want to watch it because the main character is too easily misconstrued with a girl. Uh. Yeah. He's like, you, you, the problem isn't that he is a guy that looks like a girl. It's that you can't tell that he's a guy that looks like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't handle it. But yeah, it's it's actually pretty good. Uh, in the dub, he's voiced by the same guy who does Deku. Oh. Yeah. What are you even doing right now? I'm looking at my objectives. Well, stop it. You're stupid. 
Care of Magical Creatures class. Okay, so I have to go all the way out to Hagrid's hut. Oh my god. Actually, he's not the Care of Magical Creatures dude yet. Or no, he is. He is. <laughs> the Blast Ended Scroots. That's what they're called. They freaking are... I think they're plants that are herbivores. <laughs> <laughs> and they freaking explode or something ridiculous. Gotta run off the edge, bro. I wish I could. Can you even? Does it stop you? Uh, probably. We can test it sometime. <laughs> we should. Yeah, we definitely should. See if we can kill Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can get one of our dudes killed. <laughs> What's a good magic system you enjoy in anime or whatever? I don't even know. I like the magic systems where people like stumble bass backwards into obscene amounts of power. <laughs> But also, the people who work really hard and, like, actually put the work in to earn things are way stronger. So, like, Shield Hero, that kind of energy. Or, a, I know it's not an anime and you haven't read it, but, um, freaking Supreme Magus is a pretty good example of that. Like, it's one of them. Hmm. What do I feel like I... I've heard of that before. Supreme Mages? Mm -hmm. It's because that's all that Connor talks about for sometimes. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's one he likes a lot. <laughs> Doesn't show up about it? Yeah, pretty much. Like, freaking, for a while there, he would not talk about anything else. <laughs> so. <laughs> it was either Battle Brothers or that. Hey, look, Hermione punches Draco in the face here. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, look at this really nice open world. Ooh! <laughs> there, there, there's nothing going on in. It's raining. I actually know my way around really well because of the fifth game. That's <laughs> a Haggard. Why? What? What? You're supposed to be over there, friend. Why? What the fuck are you doing? This. this Why does he gotta be over there? Because it's normally where his hut is. <laughs> no, that's over here. It's way over there normally. No, it's over here now. No. He moved. I would know. He moved. I have like a pimple on the inside of my nose or something. It hurts really bad. Dude, he just likes to move his house around, bro. Just give him the PC to yeah. Honestly, Hagrid's big enough and strong enough, he could probably pick that whole fucking thing up. <laughs> He's half giant. First thing you so. know about hippogriffs is they're proud. You always wait for a hippogriff to make the Is that they're hypocrites? No. The hypocrite hippogriff. In the book, he brings out a huge flock of hippogriffs. Hermione, who wants to go first? Obviously, Harry does. Even though he was, he was unanimous, unanimously selected. Mm. Because everybody, he's like, whoever wants to go first, take a step forward, and everybody else took a step back, and Harry's just oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you get to go first. Hermione gets to go first. This isn't part of the story. What? <laughs> I was just gonna cast a spell at it. <laughs> it did kind of look like that. <laughs> oh jeez. Well done. I spec you like the flying. Oh god. Right. Catch as many as you can. Oh, the flying system now. But, well, with, but on a hippogriff. Just fly at the Hermione fucking the rest. hates flying. Go on then. Why? Because it's her. <laughs> It's her least favorite mode of transportation. Now, is that a minute? Is that two minutes? Or is that 160 seconds? Because there isn't a lot of space How in do between I fly? the one and the four. How do I go up? <laughs> oh, I figured it out. <laughs> oh, it's hold B to fly, right? Oh, right. That, that's an, like a super old mechanic nobody ever explained. Am I supposed to find fucking bats in this? <laughs> yeah, don't you know? Oh, oh there they're... they are. I found them. <laughs> <laughs> Flying too far away. Oh, they disappeared. You missed them. Oh, I got two of them. Not good enough. Shut up. Ah! They're strafing. Uh. Come on, bro. I'm getting it, dude. Um. Oh, you got five on that one. I put his head right through the middle of it. It's like, don't ask me how he ate five that quickly. Dude, Buckbeak got quick reflex. 
I think like he prefers here. ferrets over bats, though. Okay, so it was 160 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. What? <laughs> 160 seconds. It was 160 seconds. Yeah, but that's also two minutes. Oh, no, it's okay. not. 120 seconds is two minutes, you nut. Are you? Oh, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> 60 seconds threw me off for some reason. But, like, 160 seconds. 160 seconds is, like... <laughs> a minute and a half. Two minutes and 40 seconds, which is super freaking ridiculous. Two minutes... Two and a half minutes. That's what it is. You're two it's, and a half minutes. It's still... It, it is a ridiculous number to just choose, like, arbitrarily. But also, it's super annoying. Oh, is that two minutes? Or whatever? It's... <laughs> that reminds me of a stupid uh, TikTok that I saw a while ago. It was, like... <laughs> Uh, this guy asked this girl, he's like, um, what's, like, what's tall enough or long enough or something? Literally anything under, like, 20 minutes. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and he's like, he's like, and the guy is like, oh, when you're 19 minutes tall, yeah. he's all sad. <laughs> yeah. It's like, jeez. <laughs> Only one left. Oh, yeah. You have 15 seconds. To make a U-turn. <laughs> you have 15 seconds. Sex Actually, uh, U-turn. Oh, you suck. Oh, you're a cunt. Oh, <laughs> oh Hagrid, no. you're too fat. Oh, no. <laughs> I went just under it. No. Whatever, I did good. No, you didn't get good enough. I did pretty good. Like, just bird just disappears. I'd say that deserves an A. An AI. have to do it for all of them? Deserves an AI. I know. Good work. Give me a go at that thing. This will be easy. You're not dangerous at all, are you? You ugly great brute. Malfoy, no! That was rude. Just beat slapped him. <laughs> You're not dying. <laughs> <from> scratch. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, freaking, he's all like. <laughs> If I hadn't gotten K when I did, they probably would have had Harry to chop it up, right? And it's just a tiny cut on his arm. Right? <laughs> Freaking later, uh, Sirius Black almost, or not almost, he does break Ron's leg, right? <laughs> and drags him away. <laughs> he's, uh, Ron's sitting there and he's like, they might have to chop it off to Hermione. <laughs> because... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and, like, he probably got it from Draco, <laughs> but, like, the ridiculousness of it. <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, it's pretty funny, though. Oof. Harry Oof, what? slept restlessly in the hospital wing. Sinking into dreams full of clammy, rotted hands and petrified pleading. He could hear voices oh, I totally forgot about that. Mm. Super spooky thing that happens in the sixth one. Hmm. Ron? Quiet. I know where Sirius Black is. He's down in the dungeons. This didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> sure it did. Don't you see it's happening right now? All right, though. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. Definitely go check out our other content. And until next time, peace out. Bye-bye.